14 vehicles, 24 hours, one hell of a trail. Welcome to the BF Goodrich Tires 24 Hell and Back Trail Challenge, presented by HP Tuners. Brought to you by Flex Rocks and Rollovers. Big rocks. This trail is absolutely insane. Rock on! It's gonna be really big rocks. We are here in southeastern Oklahoma, rugged mountain ranch. This is probably going to be the hardest Hell and Back challenge we've ever done. We're gonna go wheeling for 24 hours. I hope you guys know what you're getting into. This is gonna be rough. For those that don't know, we have a pink helmet that we carry with us, and the pink helmet comes into place every time somebody has to winch, break on the trail, falls asleep, or runs out of gas. I also wanted to thank a few special guests that we have on board here. Nick with Rockstar Garage, Matt with Busted Knuckle Films, joins us for the second time, super pumped about that. Jeff Perkins with Genrite Off-Road, and Holly Fowler also with Rockstar Garage. Ricky with RCV came on board last minute, that's super cool and Mr. Ian Johnson with the Big Tire Garage. Super, super pumped to have everybody here. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, let's go hit the trails. 24 hours, one, two, three, let's go. How you feeling, my dude? Oh, I'm feeling good, man. This is, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is fun. Any fears, thoughts, things that you're nervous about with your rig? Just a few nuts and bullets we might be worried about, but I think we'll be all right. I'm excited. I'm going to climb over some rocks, man. I brought my Jeep truck. Let's climb over some rocks. How you feeling? Fantastic, man. Ready to get on the trail, rock it. We're going to start 24 hell and back. And it's gonna be a good day. Got good weather, good group. I see that your rig's not running. <laughs> I guess she's not starting the 24 hour hell back. No, it's all good. I'm gonna catch up. So the first trail is gonna be about six hours to get through. I'm gonna be there probably two hours in. Who do you think is going to have the most trouble out here? Scott Grubb is going to break halfway through the first trail. When are you going to break? Or are you going to break? <laughs> Open a wax shaft. If anything, no. call and drive a rear. Call and drive a rear if it breaks. Hopefully not. <laughs> How many spare after shafts did you bring? The one that's in his Jeep. Oh, we got to take it out of his Jeep. <laughs> because he's got to set it. He's got his I long got side Yukon should cut down to go in my short side. It's a maybe. And my spares are actually at Yukon getting warranty because I broke both of them. So those are the spares. The spares, right? You should have told me. I wonder, I have like a pile of Yukon. I got a pile of Yukon 14 volt chaps. <laughs> um, but one thing I want to say, uh, we do have rattlesnakes. We do have water moccasins, copper, copper heads. So I don't see them much. I'm just saying if you're out and about, just kind of pay attention to where you're going because I don't want anybody to okay, stumble See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't seen, I haven't seen any rattlesnakes I'm here, but they, they are definitely here. <laughs> and also, I wanted to introduce Roland as well. Roland is the reason that this park got going. I'll uh, give you a treetop version. He was wheeling over in Clayton. The lady who owned this ranch at the time uh, came over and found them and said, hey, would you like to come check out 3,700 acres of you know virgin? mountain and Roland's like sure <laughs> and the rest is history what's up ready to get going today it's gonna be a good time around hour 18 it really starts but we've done this we've been down this road we're gonna make the best of it. it's gonna be an awesome day I'm excited so we pretty much brought a knife to a gunfight smallest Jeep here but we do have air conditioning What's happened is, is my bushings are completely shot, which means whenever I'm driving, it's just making the most awful noise 
ever. We're just grabbing some of those, but we're in the middle of Oklahoma nowhere. So it takes about an hour to go to the nearest parts store. So Walter is there right now waiting for them to open and get those. Then he'll drive back up, then we'll pop them in, and then we'll go. of Taggett Creek. We're about to start on a 1.6 mile journey over uh, lost boulders and they're gonna get progressively larger and larger as we go on. We'll have some deep water holes that we'll be going through almost to the top of the tire, probably 40 inches of water and it'll be a good challenge to see if all these Jeeps can make it. How deep would you wager that is? Mm, probably three or four foot in some spots. Maybe three feet. Uh, yeah. You don't. No, I don't. <laughs> We're one hour into the 24 Hell and Back Challenge. Our first trail of the day is Tackett Creek. We just got the very first couple of feet done. Now we're in front of the first big water hole that is followed by some really, really big rocks. The deep water hole number one, uh, we call it, and you gotta have to stay left. It's a little deeper on the right side, and if you hit the ledge wrong over there and you start sliding over, we have had a few buggies upside down in the water over here on this next ledge. So we'll see if everybody can make so it we'll today. We want to all hang a hard left. Want to kind of stay left. Yeah, you might want to watch the lead guy and see where the line is. Yeah, so that's going to get a little bit interesting here in a minute. This is just the first 140th or something of the trail, and it's already been really challenging, and it's absolutely gorgeous here. I can't wait to check out the rest of this, and yeah, I think everybody's having a blast already. in a hole over there. So you're gonna have to get the ass in further over this way. So 
so it doesn't drop off that hole. It feels like it wants to break, but it also feels like it wants to roll. You think it feels rough on you? It's like bring the jet through here. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, I think I'm just going to be wearing the pink helmet for a minute if I pull cable. It'll be mine. <laughs> So as a passenger, my perspective was when stood it up straight up and I kind of looked over at Ian, he seemed way too calm about the situation. And like we're standing straighter and about to go. And he's like, maybe I'll hit reverse, maybe I won't. We'll just see what happens. I'm over here like, you know, worked out. That's an experience for you. And he's got a lot of it. I felt a little sketchy, like a whole lot sketchy, like super sketchy. Woo! Woo! Still kind of shaking. How did it feel going behind Ian when he did that huge wave? Dude, he was like, I was like, yep, where I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip for sure. And then he gets set it back down, and he's like, Oof. I was like, yep, I'm gonna flip. And uh, sorry, <laughs> action going on back there. You're gonna wear it with pride? Absolutely. Please do. I don't know why, what did I? <laughs> Got myself in a little jam here. Probably need to pull some wine. Got the pink helmet on. First one to do so. We've got about 90% uh, of the trail to go. And it gets uh, better as we proceed. Tell me about this trail, Ian. What do you think about this place? I love this trail. This trail's crazy. A whole bunch of rocks with a whole bunch of traction, a little bit of water, a couple sketchy climbs, a couple sketchy ledges. Big rocks, but crazy traction. That's all Wait, I got. big rocks from the big tire garage? Oh, maybe? big tire garage approved big rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah these are big and ones. we have our friend, Mr. Pink Helmet Jeff. Still wearing them. Wearing it longer than I thought I would. <laughs> Okay, let's get, set yourself up like you did before, your back end's over there, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna use the cable to bring your tire into this rock and we'll cable you over. Up, up the rock. No, like you did before, we're, we're gonna right side load it. corner of this rock right here. Yeah, so get it like right side right loaded, like come in and just switch it. Get your rear end further over than you ever have. Get in this rock. Keep it driver, keep it driver, keep it driver. That's it, that's touching. Keep the wheel right 
this together now. That's all right. We won't have it for long. Nope. Well, Trick, take me up buggy lines in a JK, so we're having to winch a little bit. It's all right. Far for the course. Gave me a little counterweight and then everybody jumped in, so we're good. up the uh, waterfall notch that was pretty difficult to get through but it looks like they're making it and now we're at a water hole that is too deep to drive through there's no way that we've had people drown the engines out here so the only option is to go up this dirt hill and we're gonna go around this water hole and then we're gonna drop back in the creek and this is a junction there's a trail behind us that goes up the hill uh, that's called the main vein and this is the main vein water hole right here Finally back on the trails. We're a little behind a couple of hours, but we got the new bushings in. He feels great. And we took a shortcut here. So I missed part of the first trail, but I'm gonna make up for it with him. So um, it's super, super humid today. Have a little sweat mustache going on, but hey ho, I think everyone else is in the same boat. And uh, I just can't wait to get wheeling. I've moved 50 feet and yeah. then we've stopped. So I'm gonna go see what's going on actually, cause something's going on back there. <laughs> Rock on! was the tire. Gives me great pleasure. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> well, we got a uh, smashed wheel over there, so we'll get her fixed up real quick and we'll be right back. We 
need to get that tire and wheel off and get a big hammer. Or bottle jack, someone has a bottle jack, that'll actually work yeah. better. Get a bottle jack. And we need to re-bend it so that it will seal. Well, looks like the BFG tire still held up. Everything's good, it's not ripped. Uh, the rim actually bent. So we're gonna take the wheel off. Hopefully just bend the wheel back and air it up with the power tank. Unfortunately, we keep pounding on that wheel. It's aluminum, you're gonna end up cracking it. So the easiest way to do it is to get a bottle jack, but they're gonna go back to camp, get a bottle jack, and grab the spare. Then we don't gotta sit here and screw with this thing. So we can get back on the trail. The rest of the group is gonna continue on, and we're gonna have a few people stay with John here to make sure everything gets fixed and he can catch up with us. So we'll head on and meet up with him later. Pretty good. Got in there, figured it's something different. I noticed everybody going around, but it looked doable. So here I go for it. Here we are, We're on top. They say it's the bonus line, but it wasn't that bad. Scott just came through this bonus line right here. Yeah, let's see if Nick Ashby can follow Scott Grubb's line. on the trail for like an hour and my PSC clamp has completely sheared off so I don't know if I have an extra one with me but we're gonna drag our little butts up there back to the beginning and see if we have anything if we do great we'll be back at it if we don't that's it for me How does it feel to not have the helmet anymore? It's nice. It's a lot cooler without it. It's a lot cooler without it. I was glad to pass it on. It's it's uh, been worn by Jeff Perkins, myself, and now him. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure it'll probably come back around before this is all over with. But uh, it was fun while it lasted. But I was sure glad to pass it on. <laughs> So I came to the obstacle and I was pretty lined up on it, but I don't have a transmission skid. The last thing I want to do is punch a hole through it. So I gave it a couple good sends, 
I just, I had that feeling that if I keep pushing it and trying to keep doing this thing, I'm just gonna punch a hole in that transmission. So I backed out, tried a different spot, but at that point, I was already too hung up in there and just too big I couldn't turn around. So, wish myself out. This trail is absolutely insane. We're at this point six hours in and we are halfway through the first trail. Good. I made it look hard, harder than it is. It took a few tries, but you made it pretty good on that last stump, man. Yeah, it took like eight bumps, but I got when it to you, work. Uh, when you come up a little more, give it a little more driver, okay? I mean, you're going to go with that. It's going to shoot it, but you're going to shoot, shoot over it. Going to roll it? No. 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 More, no. more likely, your driver is going to end up in this hole. Is it going to roll it? No. 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 That was wild. I didn't uh, didn't really expect it to make it, but uh, we'll hammer down. It'll get it. I promise you. <laughs> Gas pedal's the answer.
of hung up over here playing around and Ash to help me get out. So wearing the helmet. We'll see what happens when we get to the top. Apparently it gets real nasty at the top. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of winching going on then. I sent it on like three different places, front axle, rear diff, and then the, my link arm is also stuck. So I guess it's my time to wear the pink helmet. I'll wear it with pride though. quarter mark now on this trail and we're we're gonna start getting into some harder rocks here before long a couple more turns and we're gonna get to the gatekeeper and after that it's gonna be really big rocks if these ain't big enough for you yet Oh, hey, 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 hey. Mike, grab 
pushed over first, guys. Are we ready? Go. Set, go. 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 There we go. Come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. I decided to take a nap. I was tired. <laughs> I can't see what's going on, so I need to win that or what. Is he up, and when is he off free school? Go ahead. Yeah. You got plugged in right? Oh, that winch has never given me an issue. Hold on, Brent. up and with his wheelbase and his springs in the back so it's really really flexy just took it over and it wasn't even nothing man he was sitting there and he was totally fine it's just a matter of gravity made it happen so he's doing the best he can we were getting smoked out he couldn't see me i couldn't see him and it's all good he didn't do any damage or anything so it's all right Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it broke the top mount off the uh, off the front end. The three link bar broke off. So we got to uh, do a little winch in here to even get the top bar out and take it back to the house and weld it. And then uh, do a little two wheel drive recovery because it broke the front drive shaft too. So we'll see what we can do to to get it out and uh, get her fixed up. I think wasted everybody's time for about at least 45 no. minutes on the first big water obstacle, um, doing a lot of winching. So uh, I just figured it was better for us and the group to uh, to go, go ahead and take that bypass out and uh, just stick to doing some video and stuff like that. I was heating the front up so it would pull me. Look, you might be getting a pink helmet back. So, this Jeep was laid over on its side. Basically, the oil will go into the head. So there are five eights on the You don't want that. I think so. It's so. gonna pull the plugs and basically right. check to see if any, anything spits out. What'd you do, dude? I don't know, man. It made like the weirdest noise, like a and we have no starter. It's acting weird. Ready? Oh. oh. Three vehicles are down. We are 11 and a half hours into this trail. It's getting late, the sun is going down. I'm really looking forward to getting to the good part up there. We've been waiting all day to get to the good stuff. We haven't even made it to Gatekeeper yet, and that's where the challenge will really start. It literally just turned off on us, trying to start it. Um, we, it's the starter, something's going on. We don't know what it is. So we're gonna try Scotch Jumper, see how that does. Stay in it, boys. Get a little bit of gas. Come on, come on. Hey, let's turn it off. Let's air up this tire and let me get this thing flat. 
Bad to I go got, pump, maybe? I got 40 pounds of pressure right here on fuel. Yeah. And it shouldn't be a problem because it's just not getting enough amperage or something. and I couldn't see the spider, so we, we held, we were sitting there still, and it laid over on its side, and uh, they pushed me back over, and we, we winched yeah. up here, Jeff from Genrite. Hold on, I, I can't got see her, nothing new. back up here, pulled the plugs, got it fired up, plug it for Skeeters, but we're up and running, back on 24 Helen back, baby. What's up, Walter? What is up, my good friend? How you doing, dude? Excellent, excellent. I'm started off as a pretty epic show for us today, but Holly's Jeep is running. That's good. And now we've reached the eight hour-ish mark and three Jeeps just went down. It's like the curse of 24 hours. Marvin! Yeah. Oh, we're just chilling out, you know, catching some sun, blinded by her light. Isn't there a song about it, something uh, like that? No, yeah. Ripped up I was like going to say. Dude. I definitely look like you're ripped up like a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. I that's all I got to say. We have no pressure in our trans, basically. So it's not engaging, going forward or backward. We don't know if it's the Atlas or the transmission. It's kind of weird, like the fire, like the flywheel got stuck up on it, and it just it made like a weird noise, like a dun -dun 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 -dun. and then we couldn't get it to kick over, we couldn't do anything. Finally got it to kick over, did its thing. Um, we just lost pressure in the transmission the Atlas, I don't know. So all we can do is turn it off, let it sit, let it rest, and whatever's wrong with it fixes it. But most likely, it's either the transmission or the Atlas that one of them is not sending power to the tires. Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> this giant boulder stood up and is now wedged between my tire and my inner fender. And going forward brings it further up into the wheelhouse. Going backwards brings it further up into the wheelhouse. So no matter what we do, it makes it worse. So the plan now is to let the air out of the tire. Uh, to get a little bit more movement in there and then hopefully get the rock back out. We'll see if that works. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Once again. Once again. Uh, this Helen bag got me some helmet, man. Like, damn. <laughs> Broken. How do you think I feel? Yeah, you should wear one all night. I know, right? My steering column completely came apart, so it's like and it was hanging every time you turn right. So I made it conscious to not bring my Jeep back out tonight. So.
We're now on the last part of Tacker Creek, the upper Tacker Creek in, in front of the gatekeeper obstacle. After this obstacle, things are getting really, really rowdy. We're gonna get into boulders that are bigger than Jeeps, holes that can swallow an entire Jeep, big rock ledges, all that good stuff. And now the sun is down, it's nighttime, we got some lights set up. See what the night brings. We have another 10 and a half, 11 hours to go. We're gonna see if we're gonna make it. We made up Gatekeeper. I've been uh, here about three times, haven't been able to make it up before, and uh, hit it perfect this time. Bailey walked me right up it, and uh, I was freaking pumped about it. Ah, is that a roach? Yes, oh does. my god, I just touched a cockroach! Oh, I hate night wheeling <laughs> so much! Snakes and cockroaches! Oh. On that note, thank you for nailing your interview. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Something's happened yeah. on the front, I think. Yeah. So I have to, to stop share. 
Stump shaft is gone. He be gone. Give me one second, guys. He be gone. So I'm just winching myself. It's bound up. Well, I think we got a uh, outer stub shaft broke or U joint. Somebody needs some RCVs. U joints just they bind. CVs don't. I may be tapping out. Let me go over here. Because it's been a little bit of a day. With one thing after the <laughs> other. A lot of bit of a day. A lot of bit of a day. <laughs> That's like a super steep climb. It felt sketchy quite often in there, but I think once you get up on it, the front tire starts to break. All I had to do was heat up the tires a little bit, shot right through. I would not have picked that line. So I'm glad we had a trail guide today. Made it pretty good, but we tore the rocker up pretty bad. Yeah? yeah you just kind of had to commit to some trail rash or what? Yeah, we did. We just got this thing back up and going. Had a few broken parts, but we got her all fixed up with the help of everybody else.
it looked pretty solid. I mean, from what you were sitting at before yeah. and what you just did, it looked like you guys did a lot of work in between. Yeah, yeah. It's back together. Hopefully, hopefully she'll hold up the rest of the night. We want to make the full 24 hours. You were pretty much hanging on the side, on the inside sidewall at the top. <laughs> you weren't even using the bottom of the tire anymore. Right, you were right. using sidewall to drive yep. across that thing. Yep. So you liking the BFGs so far? Oh, they hold up I great? love them. BFG tires, the best tires I've ever had. You got eyes on anybody you think to be passing that helmet off too soon? <laughs> Anybody at this point, yeah. anybody would work. I'd love to uh, pass her on for sure. So we've been doing one hell of an incredible trail on 24 Hell and Back. This is called Upper Tackett. Um, the next two obstacles are going to separate the men from the boys, um, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> I like it. Feels like I'm undercut. Oh. Um, you know, as the evening progresses, it gets a little bit more technical. I don't know whether it's the actual terrain or our our perception of it, because it's uh, this little spot. You know, I mean, we have a few rigs go through and one little slip, and it's just it's just a little bit of a mess. You know, so. How are we doing? Hard. Are you shooting me? I'm shooting you now. Dude. Uh -oh. You have yet to wear the pink helmet, am I correct? Yeah, I think I'm one of three or four. That have not won it. Or yep. worn it. No pink helmet here. It might change here in about two seconds, but right now we're looking good. So we've been working all day and all night to make it to this point, and we're now at the abyss. This will be the hardest obstacle that we'll do today, and it's a double water hole. There's one on the bottom with a big ledge, and there's another water hole with another big ledge. Uh, and under the water, which is quite deep, there's some loose boulders that are going to be rolling around, so it may be different for every guy going through there. Probably going to be the first one to give it a shot, and I'm going to try to right line today for the first time and see if it goes. Left my lights on too long, and now my battery is dead. So we're going to use our Scourge Power uh, Jump Starter box to jump start the Jeepster. Crazy what that little thing can do. Tiny little battery pack, jump starting the Jeep. Mind blowing. I will be there. <laughs> yeah, ready to give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, finally starting to wake up a little bit. Feeling good, man. I'm ready to ready to get in here. Start some climbing. Boys, how we doing? Awesome. Uh, Couldn't be better. Definitely uh, kind of worried. 
Uh, we put a beat down on the rigs. We've had flipped over. We've got half the fleet are broke. I've ripped the rocker off mine, so we're, we're gonna go give it hell. Rock on. What is this officer here called? The Abyss.
gave us quite a show, man. How was that? I was good. Ready to move on to the next one. Yeah. Anyone else yeah. make fun tonight when that goes on? That was probably the, uh, the longest tire burn I think we've had this whole trip. <laughs> Maybe one of them. I mean, yeah. I'd imagine there's probably more to come. We're getting close. We're getting close. How long <laughs> yeah. have we been on the trip? We're getting though? close. We got about five hours left. Five hours left. So we're on the downhill side. Good luck, Scott. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, we we twisted up the rear drive shaft. Hadn't been our night for drive shaft, so we're gonna uh, try this bypass and try to winch up out of here. How'd it happen? Ah, uh, I guess we just got on some wrong rocks or something. Some of these sharp rocks got up in there, and drive shafts only last so long, I guess. <laughs>
in the last hole, made everything a little sketchy. Boulders caused a lot of trouble, but we made it. Right there, buff it backwards hard. Let me see if we can kick that rock there. Yeah. I want to kick that rock in the hole. Nothing like the smell of burnt rubber first thing in the morning. There you go, Jeff. 6 12 a.m. right now. I uh, thought I'd be a little more zonked out, but I still got pretty good energy. 6.15, we're almost Sun, there. Yeah, sun's finally coming up. About, I guess, three hours left. Downhill side now. It's been fun. A lot of wheeling, tough trails. And we got, what, three more hours? How you feeling about being one of the only ones you haven't broke? I uh, feel pretty good. I haven't had to wear the helmet yet. Uh, it might be coming here shortly, but so far, so good. cable it's hard to go anywhere when the tires are three feet in the air and you're sitting on a big rock in the middle We have arrived at the final obstacle of Jacket Creek. Here it is. This is the exit right there. This is the final obstacle. What a day. This place is insane. So let's rock and roll and get this thing done. How are you guys feeling? 
Yeah. Actually, a lot better than I thought I'd be feeling. Yeah, a lot what, better than I thought. What time is it? 6.15. 6.15. Yep. I'm Three hours, 15 down. minutes yep. to uh, go. We, we got that morning breeze trail now. Yeah, one more obstacle? <laughs> one more obstacle and we got one better. trail completed. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to come back and just ride the park. Yeah. See what it's got yeah. other than this trail. I'd go back to the bottom of this one one day. Go back to the bottom and just see how the ride is out yeah. without all the stops. See how long it really takes. How long does this usually take in a small group or I mean you said I would say three, four hours, you yeah. know, just just meandering through, playing on the obstacles, yeah. you know, you you can get through it, you know. Sometimes longer and sometimes you don't make it to the end. Yeah. In fact, I would say that a lot of people come in the bottom with the intention of finishing the trail and, and I would say that uh, half of them don't make it to the end. That's if fair. not more than half. Well we got two rigs sitting down there and in the trail now and one of them already built out so that's three rigs that aren't one three out of twelve yeah that's a 25 percent he's gonna give it hell he's ready to go home so he'll break it right now <laughs> <laughs> one more obstacle We ran the trail. Yeah. We're done. Hey. I didn't want him to have like a seizure. How you doing, Big Papa? Tired. Even though I didn't wear this pink helmet today, I'm gonna wear this freaking pink helmet just to do it. It is now 10:03. It is Sunday morning. We just got back off the trail about 30 minutes ago. We're beat to hell, literally. It was absolutely crazy. I don't think I've ever spent 24 hours on one trail before until now. 
I think Marvin said it was like 1.3 miles in 24 hours. I'm a little tired now, though. I could use a nap. Spent 22 of the 24 hours on the same trail. So I think that's a record. We're all tired of it. Oh, my God. The most difficult thing was staying up for 24 hours wheeling. I mean, when the sun starts to come up, you're beat. Staying awake for 24 hours is hard. <laughs> I think it was all hard. There's no easy part at all. It was all stupid and hard and took 24 hours. Man, this was an experience. I've done a lot of things in my life and a lot of things I would call hard. I think that they're not as hard now. This is probably the most technical and hardest rock crawling park in the country. Actually, not probably, it is. It really changed a lot for me. I mean, we did one trail in 24 hours, guys. A little less carnage than I thought there would be, honestly. But uh, the trails definitely still did not disappoint. Between the breakdowns and blown transmissions and blown blown apart wheels, blown drive shafts, and I flopped, and just, just the, the carnage that that trail presented our group and some of the top wheelers in, in the United States were out here to, 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 to conquer it. And we had rigs that didn't even make it. I'm in front of Perkins right now because I feel like gridlock is just so hardcore it doesn't want to leave the trail. So we're going to have to go get it here in a minute um, and try to recover that thing out of that canyon, which is not going to be fun. There's a rig down there that's getting pulled out. We don't know when. Next year, next month. Helicopter, we don't know. Uh, and we didn't want to be that, that rig, so he, he kept his foot off the gas and it was rough, but probably had a lot to do with the trail. I talked a lot of smack in the beginning saying Grub was going to be the first one to break and miraculously, he didn't break. I laid mine over. I had to pull all the plugs out, full oil, rip the rocker off it, beat the tar out of it, but I made the entire event. Got to meet some great people from across the country I follow on Facebook that finally got to meet some wicked rigs. I would say that one of the coolest things I saw out there on the trail was you had people from all over this country who've never met, who've never wheeled together, who may work with different companies, or work with different brands, or drive different types of vehicles, but when you were out there on the trail and you were wheeling, it was just like family. All those guys from the south that we met, they're, they're awesome. We don't get to hang out with guys of this caliber with this caliber of vehicles on a regular basis. It was, it was something. It is absolutely fantastic event. Great group of people. The film crew, the hospitality, the food, I mean, everything is just, just, just perfect. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, I do it again. Not right now, give me a day. Give me a day and let me check the rig. We're good. Let's go. Tomorrow. This is my second 24 hour Hell and Back challenge and I'm ready for the next one. You just tell me where and when, I'll be there. I'm probably gonna bring the Mega Razor though. Or a Rock Bouncer. No more of underdog. I, I'd go to Hell and Back again, for sure. Might need a little, about a month to sleep. But besides that, I'll be, I'll be ready to do it again. Next time I'm back for Hell and Back, he better have some uh, poly bushings between his seats and his frame if we're at this place because we landed on the belly so many times that my head's <laughs> ringing, my back hurts. Thanks to Marv for having us out with Flexbox and Rollovers and shout out to all the big sponsors. I don't know if I'll do it next week, but I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, there's some time off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I can do it again. I'd, I'd like to come back for sure. We want to thank Marvin and uh, this rugged mountain ranch for having us here all the different sponsors thank you guys we appreciate you so much and this event is awesome i cannot wait to come back to it it's a good time looking forward to next year or whenever he does another one if we had a windshield we'd have a big fig newton sign up there because i do love fig newtons but it's highly inconvenient <laughs> and uh you know Maybe Marvin will get Fig Newton on board next time. <laughs> Helen Back was great. HP Tuners. <laughs> That's pretty much a wrap. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Flex Rocks Rollovers. Like the video, let us know which one was your favorite driver, what was your favorite obstacle. Please comment on that. We definitely want to know. And we'll see you next time.